Hello everyone, I am Ben with the BTC Sessions. I'm down here on 17th Ave in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today, I'd like to take a look at the BitPay Bitcoin Wallet. These are the guys responsible for the Copay Wallet, which is actually one of my favorite Bitcoin wallets out there. So I figured let's take a look at some of their other offerings. I'm gonna take a look at some basic functionality and see how I like it. Let's take a look. All right, so here I am. I've already downloaded this BitPay app. Once it opens up, you see a few things on the screen here. Up top, you've got your wallets. In the middle, you can buy and sell Bitcoin. And down at the bottom, there's a few extra things like Amazon and a BitPay Visa card. So unfortunately, the bottom parts are not available in Canada, but we'll take a look at them in a minute anyways. So up first, if I hit the plus sign up near the wallets, I can create a new personal wallet. Um, you can give the wallet a name. Uh, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to just show you how to make a wallet. I'm going to write test. I'm going to hit create new wallet. Now, at this point, it will pop up under wallets. And if I click on it, I see that little bar that says wallet not backed up. If I tap on that, this gives me an opportunity to back up my wallet in case I lose my phone. Now, it's important that people don't see this code that they're about to give you, nor should you take a screenshot because that's not secure. You can see it gives me a string of 12 words. All I would do is write this phrase down and keep it and re-put it in to confirm that I've written it down. Now, if I want to get rid of this wallet, if I go into settings down in the bottom right, I can click on test wallet. Um, and if I go into that at the bottom here, it gives me an option to, sorry, more options. And then I can click on delete wallet, which I'm going to do because I don't want to keep this one. Uh, make sure you have written down your phrase if you want to get that wallet back. Otherwise, you're out of luck. So I'm going to go show you a wallet I've already set up that already has funds in it. Up top, I have my amount in Bitcoin and in Canadian dollars. Down below, I've got previously sent and received transactions. If I hit receive at the bottom, my QR code pops up. And if I want, I can tap it and that will copy my address onto the clipboard to be pasted elsewhere. Um, so let's see what that would look like. If I hit the send button and I click in the recipient field, if I press and hold, I can hit paste and I can paste in uh, that address. And that could come from anywhere. It could come from a text message or an email or whatever, but that's where you would paste in your address. Um, now, if I want to scan a QR code, I hit the scan button down at the bottom. I've got one up already that I can scan from my computer. And again, it copies that address into the recipient field. Um, I can type in either in Bitcoin or Canadian dollars and I can send from there. Finally, the settings toggle down at the bottom right. Uh, you have your address book, um, send feedback, all that kind of stuff. Set your language, set your Bitcoin unit. Um, just a lot of different settings there. So up next in the middle section, you can see you can buy and sell Bitcoin. So there's a couple options here. If I hit the plus button, there is Coinbase and Glidera. Now, unfortunately, Glidera is not available in Canada, so I'm not going to try that one out. But Coinbase is, and I've actually already set it up. I've just logged in with my Coinbase credentials. If I go into it and I hit buy Bitcoin, um, it's literally just a matter of hitting how much I want. So let's say 20 US dollars, hitting the arrow there. Um, that connects me to Coinbase and sometimes it takes a second so I skipped ahead a bit here uh, but then it sets up a transaction if everything looks good there um, then I would just hit confirm purchase it even shows me in Canadian dollars what it's gonna cost me because I've set that as my main currency um, and I just confirm it and momentarily it pops up yes you have bought Bitcoin now if I go out of this if I hit the OK button down at the bottom of the screen it'll take me back um, I can uh, look at the transaction see that it's pending sometimes it takes a, a few minutes to pop up in your uh, in your wallet um, but then if I go into my personal wallet here uh, it's been about a minute here I can see that I'm in the process of receiving uh, you know, X amount of Bitcoin here. So I can see it's about you know, just shy of around 25 or 26 Canadian dollars that I've just bought. All right, from here, uh, what I'd like to do is actually, I'm going to try sending some money here. So let's scan that QR code I had up on my screen. Um, and then I'm just going to type in, I'm going to send myself 20 Canadian dollars. So two, zero, I can hit that arrow on the side. 
and it will give me my confirmation screen. So it just gives me, okay, you're sending to this address from this wallet. This is how much Bitcoin and Canadian dollars it is. And if I want to send, I just slide across the bottom and it's pretty quick, sends right away. And on my computer behind me, there we go, we can see that a transaction has just popped up there. So what about um, trying out pasting an address? So instead of using the QR code, um, I'm going to go to another wallet. I'm going to copy uh, a QR code from my copay wallet. So this is from the makers of the, of the BitPay wallet. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just go in. Oh, there's my funds received from that transaction. Anyways, I'm going to go in to uh, receive and I'm going to tap so I can copy my address from my other wallet. All right. Just as if I had done it from a text message or something like that. Again, I'm going to tap and hold and then hit paste. So I've just pasted my address in. And then again, I'm going to choose how much I want to send. So let's send $20, hit the arrow and double check everything and then slide across the bottom to send. And there we go. Payment is sent. And again, on my computer, you can see it just popped up there. Perfect. All right. So from here, what I'm going to do is I want to show you just a couple other quick things here. So you can change your Bitcoin unit. You can choose Bitcoin or bits. Now, in a Bitcoin, there are 1 million bits. So if I go back out to my personal wallet, you can see now I have 140,000 some odd bits. If I were to change that back to Bitcoin... So change it to BC, BTC and go back to my home. I can see now I have 0 0.140 and some odd Bitcoin. All right. Um, so it's, you know, if you want to see big numbers, go to bits. But uh, I prefer sticking with Bitcoin for the moment. Now let's take one more look at down at the bottom here, the Amazon gift card. Uh, it's really simple. If you hit that and you hit buy a gift card, again, you can type in whatever amount that you want and just hit the arrow. Fortunately, this does not work for the Canadian Amazon store. So we'll back out of that. And the BitPay Visa card. Now I've done some videos on uh, some other Bitcoin Visa cards. This is a nice convenient. You can order to pay from, uh, you can order your card from here and you can connect it to your app so you can see your transactions in your BitPay, BitPay wallet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe, drop a tip if you're able to, and share this video. I'll see you guys next time on the BTC Sessions.